Hello, assalamu alaikum, and welcome to episode four of my Eid Craft videos. So I hope you've enjoyed the videos so far. Now Eid is just over a week away, but there's still time to do a few more craft projects. So in this episode, I'm gonna be showing you some really fun ways to make some Eid decorations for your home. So in the first project, I'm gonna be showing you how to use a decoupage technique to decorate up some paper mache letters. And in the second project, I'm going to be showing you how to make these really sparkly hanging decorations. So let's get started on episode four. So a really nice way to welcome guests into any party or any event is to have a sign. And a really cool way to do it is to get hold of some of these paper mache letters that you can decorate up as you like. So decoupage is a technique where you take some paper and you cover a surface and then varnish it. There's lots of different ways to do it, but the technique I'm going to show you is actually using papers and glue by a brand called Decopatch. Decopatch papers come in all sorts of gorgeous colours and patterns. You'll get three sheets inside. Open it out, it's just like ordinary tissue but a little bit thicker. Deco patch glue is used to stick on your tissue and add the varnish. Start by cutting up your deco patch paper into squares. These should be the same size. So the next part is the messy part, but it's also really fun. We're going to be applying glue to the letter and sticking on each of the squares. Paper mache letters come in different sizes. I'm demonstrating on a small one. Apply the glue with a small paintbrush, just do a small section at a time. Then start to stick on each square by smoothing them on. There's no wastage, just use up all your paper by folding it over and overlapping. So keep going all the way around the letter until you've covered it completely. And then when the whole surface is covered, just apply a final coat of the glue on top as this creates a really nice glossy finish. So leave your letters to dry overnight. When they're dry, you can then decorate them up however you want. I kept mine simple by just sticking on a few gold stars with a gem in the centre and then applying some strips of trim. So back in episode one, you may remember that I used gold card to cut out some stars. Now we ended up using the star borders and the actual stars that were left behind weren't used. Now I did say we'd use them for another project and this is where I used them. You'll need some gold card and a star shaped punch. Just go along the edge of the card and keep punching out at even intervals to create your stars. Just like a traditional hole punch, the star shapes will be kept inside the punch, so you need to open it out to let them free. So you can place your letters on your Eid feast table or put them in the hallway, the entrance when guests come round will be the first thing they see or you can also hang them up. So the second project in this episode is these gorgeous sparkly home decorations. Hang these up as part of your Eid decor. So here's what you need, some soft metallic fabric and card to create a template and also some of this gorgeous glittery fabric. You'll also need some paperbacks bonder web and some ribbon of your choice as well as a small piece of wadding to place inside your decoration. So start by cutting out a card circle. This is your template. Now you can make these decorations any size you want, but for these ones, my circle measures 10 centimeters across. So cut out two circles, one for the front and the back, and then a smaller circle in a different color. 
This is where you'll need your paper bonder web. So draw around the small circle on the paper side and then peel off the backing. Place some paper on top of the circles and then iron over. The small circle will now be stuck to the large one. Next it's time for the glitter fabric. For this part you're going to be embellishing your decoration with whichever design you like. I decided to cut out an oval shape from the glitter fabric. I then added on some shisha mirrors, some sequins and some gemstones. Cut a circle of wadding using the original template. You then need to trim it a little bit more. This is so it fits inside your two circles. So a really good tip to make it much easier is to actually just lightly glue the wadding in place. Just put a little bit of uh, print stick down and stick it on and this won't affect the decoration, it just makes it much easier. Finally, you need to sew both circles together. I did this by using a stitch called a whip stitch, where you go diagonally all the way across your circle. You'll be able to see the stitches, but that's all part of the design. Before you completely stitch up both ends, don't forget to slip your ribbon hanger inside. I love these decorations. Make as many as you like to make your home really colourful. So there you have it, a couple of easy, fun and colourful ways to do some Eid decor for your home. Now there's only just over a week of Ramadan left, so there's not too much more Eid crafting opportunities, but there is still one more episode to come next week. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't worry if you missed the other three, you can still catch up on those as well. Now, if you are enjoying my series, then do make sure you subscribe and leave a comment below and let me know what you think. So don't forget you can also follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, The Craft Cafe and Instagram, The Underscore Craft Cafe for lots more colourful crafting inspiration. Join me next week for episode five for some really quick last minute eat crafting ideas.